We've done a complete redesign to Windows Mobile, uh, referred to as Windows Phone, right, and it's all around the user experience. It's so Windows Phone 6.5 or no, just Windows, Windows Phone? Phone. Okay. We're not even referred to the operating system because it's part of a whole long-term strategy right. of new releases coming out. So it will be referred to as Windows Phone. Um, right from the start, most people will unlock the phone which they want to access text messages, emails, voicemails that they've missed, etc. on there. So we've made it really easy for them now is if you hit the, hit the button there, you get a drop down. If you had missed calls, that would show up on there as well. Here I've got a text message now. All I have to do is pick up the button, slide it across, and it launches me straight into the text message that I've just received on there uh, into the phone so I can reply on it. So you don't have to launch an application to get to anything you want to do on it. Um, the new UI, we're taking uh, learnings from Zoom on the, on the areas there. So we've got a very Zoom-like interface. Scroll up and down, complete touching, uh, scrolling up uh, area from there to access all your services. You can you can do this slowly by one or just by flipping up and down, depending how many services are there. For brand new users who are coming from um, uh, a feature phone to a smartphone for the first time, because that's primarily our target audience. Let's cancel that. Um, we take them. There's a little wizard here that will help them set up the clock, email. So we do an automated email set up for personal email, um, whether that's whether that's Hotmail, Gmail, Yahoo Mail, etc. They can walk out working within two minutes and having email synchronised down to their uh, their phone on, on there as well. And then just simple customizations about device locking, Bluetooth, setting up a Bluetooth headset. We we ping all the um, security codes so people don't have to look up a security code for a headset. So it auto configures the headsets for them, changing their backgrounds and personalising the phone to the ring ringtone. So we take them through the simple things that people want to do today. Unlike previous versions of Windows in Windows 6.1, if you hit the start button on there, you go into the folder view. Very confusing, you know, corner of the fingernail to get to it. We've now changed that and we've gone to an iconic 24-bit icons. Access all the applications that are installed on your phone. To actually go through there so it makes it really easy for people now to, to navigate through. A couple of key areas we're introducing, um, marketplace for Windows, um, yes we're going to have a marketplace like everybody else, we hope we've taken some key learnings really about the marketplace um, onto there, there we go. Uh, to help people navigate and get through so we'll have showcase applications, we even integrate the operator store because Microsoft's whole strategy is working with partners so operators have their own stores, they'll be able to access that from there as well. Then we break it down into categories so people can actually access and find what they're looking for, whether that's reference, communications, games, lifestyle, there's everything they need to do in there and they'll be able to navigate down into there. If I just take games for instance, that will have a subcategory loading different genres in there, whether that's board, classic games, etc. So these will all start to appear around the launch of Windows Mobile on there as well. One of the other new services we've introduced, it's not very um, pretty, it doesn't need to be pretty, it's called My Phone. My Phone is a service that basically synchronises all your data on your phone up onto the cloud. Why is that important? Well, if you lose a phone, um, etc., you've got your personal data on there, etc., you can walk into any store, buy a new Windows phone, sign in with your Windows Live ID, and all your all your um, messaging and text messages come down. And I'll just show you that quickly what that looks like on on the PC. So if we go into the PC, turn the camera so you can see. So this is my phone on here. So I can go in. I have all my text messages archived up there. I have all my photos archived up there. And this is also a great way for people to get pictures off their phones as well. There's the um, Audi R8 over there I took earlier this morning, and I can easily download that from my PC, from the web onto my PC and post that to any social networking site, etc. on there as well. I can also add pictures here and it will synchronise down to my phone. I can add videos and I can also have music as well in there as well. So can, I've got my um, you know, U2 album in there, songs on there, will all appear here and I can actually drag music onto here. Is and this then uh, a cost them. service or a free this service? This is a free service to all users. Is there capacity on the side? There's 200 megabytes um, on, on the beta version. We'll be looking at um, maybe 
adding a premium service for large large data content. Is it part of the mesh setup or is it something completely different? It will be part of mesh, but this is slightly different from mesh at the moment. Okay. Okay. And there, this is the beta version. Um, obviously, security is really important. You say you can back up your data. What about the lost phone? If it's not broken and you've lost it, um, in the release version, you'll be able to um, lock your phone from here and also wipe your phone from here as well right. for security. So it's a great new service that we'll be adding to Windows Phone for users okay. on there. Again, you know, we exploit the hardware, co-pilots there as well, full satellite turn-by-turn -turn navigation. I used that in Italy a couple, uh, month ago. Fantastic. Uh, new browsing experience um, with Internet Explorer. You get a full desktop version now. So if I go to the BBC site, into there, I get a full desktop version. Wireless is really busy in here today. So I can have a full full browser view, full desktop view. If I don't want that, I can go to a mobile view and set it up for a mobile view in there as well. Um, so I can zoom in, pan around the page, and I get a little icon down here showing me where I'm navigating to on the page and to there as well. So it makes it easy for a great browsing experience for people in there as well. Is, uh, is it multi-touch? No, it's not multi-touch on this. Uh, currently, uh, we haven't been able to support multi-touch on this because there are 155 different Windows mobile phones okay. on the market. Or each one has a different ID. Future future strategy is that we will work with, you know, we've done a lot of work with OEMs uh, about the hardware specification on, on the Windows 6.5 phones that come out. There'll still be a multiple of choice, which is one of, you know, one of our value propositions. But moving forward, we'll work with them closely around um, hardware specifications, etc. So the software, we can fully exploit the hardware introduce multi-touch and a whole re new range of experiences exploiting the multitasking capabilities of Windows. So any experiences you see on some of our competitor devices today will, will be knocked into uh, uh, a diff different realm on there. Um, so more like V7 then than 6.5. 6 yeah. yeah. So okay. that's why we're calling it Windows Phone. So, okay. um, so 6.5 will coexist with 7 when it comes out. 6.5 will be a breadth play, it will be a lower cost device. Okay. Seven will be, you know, a premium hardware experience, exploiting all the stuff out. As Moore's law comes in and the hardware comes down, the next version eight, nine, and ten, seven will become in the breadth market because the hardware costs right. will come down, and there'll be new premium experiences that will bring out the new the future versions. So that's why we just called it Windows Phone rather than an operator, rather than the actual version number coming through on there. <coughs> One of the services you might not have seen is Tag. So Microsoft Tag. This is one I've spoofed up. So Microsoft Tag is really a digital barcode. So this was this is one I just saw for Harvey Nichols because I knew lots of ladies were coming today. But you could be walking down the street on a bus shelter. So it's a big A2 size, A1 size area there. You haven't got time. You want, actually want to see some of these new designs. What you can do is launch Tag on the phone. So Tag will launch on there. Basically initializes the camera. I go up and find the tag on here, let's get it lined up, it's very difficult doing it at this angle, uh, there we go, what it does is recognise the tag, it's a lot easier than that when you're trying to do it one handed, essentially goes out to um, Harvey Nichols website, because it's their tag on there, uh, will load Harvey Nichols website and give me information about the whole new autumn collection coming through on there. And again here you can see um, I'm just going to zoom in a bit on this one for you. Um, yeah, we have full flash support in IE. Okay. Um, Full flash support now within that, so uh, and like a lot of our competitors, we're natively support flash out of the box on there as well. So it's a great way for advertisers, new there's tags can be used in many ways. It could be a, a promotional offer. So tag can be used in um, quite a lot of ways. So it could be a voucher code um, for a 25% off a coffee or a, an item in store on that. And you can see, use the accelerometer as well. 
So again, rich re user experience, uh, and that's really a whistle top stir of um, okay. Windows Mobile. Uh, and Windows on track for arriving. It'll be a, a 